Hello everyone, my name is Sila Richin. Uh, today we want to show you how to do ranking and rating question in Kobo Toolbox. Thank you all for coming. Please do um, remember to like and also click uh, the button there. Each time we send videos like this, you are going to get notifications. And also please do it to subscribe to encourage me to do more videos. Um, that tells me that what I'm doing is good. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing and thank you so much for liking. Um, today we want to do a very brief video that will help all of us how to rank and also how to read questions in Kobo Toolbox. How to create this kind of questions in Kobo Toolbox. Let's just jump in and show you how that works. Now, right now, I'm on my Kobo Toolbox um, box. I'm on my Kobo Toolbox account and I'm on their website. So this is my account already open. I didn't want to take you too long and start showing how to open and all that. So right here I have eight deployed projects. You see, they are here and I have two drafts. So we are going to come to this draft and we use one of these drafts. Demo two, um, this is, a, this, is um, a, 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 this is a a form that I created for another video. So right here, each time I click here, it now gives me this option to edit, okay? Edit from form builder. So I'm going to click a small pen here and then it brings me now to the form so this form has just two questions it has names it has age so we want to add more questions um, which is rating and ranking question okay but let's first of all go back to our word document sheet and show you um, how this looks like right here these are rank uh, these are written questions um, right here we are looking at questions and rating them and giving them um, rating them and giving them um, different um, different um, levels either whether we strongly agree or whether we disagree or whether we agree so we are rating them in order of importance in a different style okay and also ranking questions here simply means you are trying to put the questions in order of importance what is most important to you it means at the end of this questionnaire a respondent will respond in and when you are doing your analysis you want to know um, which tool here is of importance based on what responders ch responders choose okay so i want us to begin with uh, the written questions right away let me just go back to my kobo toolbox and show you what how this looks like so of course each time you are in your kobo toolbox all you need to do is come here after you must have opened your form just come here and then you click this small sign here it shows you now we want to enter the question and here it's amazing because we'll first enter a statement Okay, with rating question, um, you first enter a statement, okay? So the statement says, indicate your understanding on agriculture and tech initiative, okay? So here is not the questions, we first enter a statement. And then I click, I, I highlight and I copy with control C, okay? This makes our question, designing our question easy. And I click, when I come here, I click and I click and I, and I, and I, and I, and I click control V, you see? And then I paste the statement. Now, the statement, of course, is almost like a question as well. So when I come here now, I click Add Question. And here again, you know, um, select one is when you have different options. You have to select one. Select many is when you have different options. You have to select more than one. Text means you have to write your name. It's it means you have to write, put the answer in terms of text. Maybe they're asking your name. What is your name? Numbers means putting numbers. Maybe with your age, they would like you to put it in numbers. You put it decimal means they're asking the amount of money you spend, etc. Date means date, you know, as you know, um, maybe the year, the, the month, and the, and, the, and, the, and the day. Time means time, you know, date and time. Here is just date and then time put together. Audio means audio. Maybe you say something on your Kobo toolbox and then it records and then it goes in as a question. Video also, you take a short video and send through questions photo as well you take a few photo and you send us question and so on and so forth but today we want to focus on rating and ranking question okay so this is written here and this is our where's our and this is our ranking here so we want to start by ranking okay no rating sorry so we are going to click written here so when we click our written there are two things i want you to take note of okay we can add our written questions here we can add questions here you see now we can delete from here you see we can add the ranking option the written options here and we can also delete the written options from here you see so we have let's go first and check our question and see what we have so right now we have how many questions let's see we have one two three four questions and then we have how many written options we have one two three okay so we are going to come here again in a cobalt toolbox take our time and we add our writings to be 
now we have set our question <coughs> sorry and then now we go back here please learn to copy and paste it's very important when you work with Kobo toolbox the first question here says i think that all family should have a home garden to solve the global food challenge okay so we are going to select that Control c and we come to our Kobo and then we come on this enter your question please remember on this enter your question and you click and you highlight you see once you highlight, you just click Ctrl V and automatically you copy the question here. These, these are easy ways to work with Cobalt Toolbox that I recommend. Okay, it makes your work so easy. Okay, and then we come to the second question here and then we do the same. Okay, we go to our Word document here as quick as we can. We don't want this video to take long. And then here we, we say the second question is I think we all should have at least one or two tech skills for personal and pro professional growth okay these are just statements we are making they are questions but in the form of statement control c and then um, come here and then we come on this enter your question here and then we highlight you see when you highlight don't click delete just paste what you copied on it and you see it gives you the result that you want you come here again and you add and then you come up here to your question again the third question here says tech skills will be highly demanded by growing companies in future okay this is a statement we are making in the form is a question in the form of question in a, in a form of question in a state is a statement in the form of question so we highlight and then we click ctrl c and then we come back to our form here and then we come on the enter your question and we highlight and then we just paste what we copied okay that's it perfect we also come here again last question agriculture is a noble profession and good for every youth out there okay it's another question or statement that we are making we want respondents to choose what is best for them so we also come we add this question and then we come up here and then we select once you select enter your question and then you just click control v and that's it as easy as that now there's one thing i want you to know amazing one thing i like about rating question is that it reduces your work now we are coming to the different options agree disagree strongly agree you know those different options amazingly we are going to apply them just once you can apply as many questions but here you are going to apply them just once so right now i'll come again to my question and then i go now to the options and then i highlight here Control c and i come to my kobo and then i go on this option here the word option and then i ha i cop i highlight and then i just click Control v you see it just pasted there you see it pasted here and then i go again to my word document sheet and I select disagree and then I control C and then I come back to my Kobo toolbox and then I select this option here this word option and I click control V and that's it so learn to copy and click I mean copy and paste and copy and click is so common in programming okay and we are almost doing programming each time you work with Kobo toolbox there are formulas sometimes to put in and so on and so forth so you have to learn this way okay that's our written question right now we are going to click save and let's review this form and look and see how it looks like so this is how you create your written question let's come here and review this form and let's see how it looks like so right now i'm reviewing the form please just be patient with us um, as we move forward um yes right this is where we are right now okay so i can select you see so i can now go and select You see so now you see the question we ask the statement we are we say indicate your understanding on agriculture and tech initiative you see so it falls in line with the options that we are choosing whether strongly agreeing or disagreeing or agree you see and then now the questions follow you see how Kobo Tubok has, has helped us to put that in order for us let's move on and see um, ranking questions as well so with the ranking questions um it's almost the same thing as well we just need to come here and we select this small plus here and then we come to our question here we screw it up and then we select our we select our 
question it says the best data analysis tool in order of results okay and then we come back to our Kubo toolbox and then we just click it here copy and see control v and then we come and add question here and then we come here and take and collect ranking okay ranking here is like sorting in excel okay sorting from large to small small to large okay just ranking and putting the best at the top and the least best at the bottom okay and after this questionnaire um we are going to see the best tool in order of ranking pair the um responses of the respondents okay so that's just what, what what it means and each time we put a question here or um uh, an option here sorry we are going to put it first choice second choice third choice so this is where we are putting the items to be ranked okay and this is where we are putting the choices okay so per this video i have put i have ranked from excel to r language to sql to python to power bi to tableau these two power bi and tableau i just added it these are all mainly um, visualization tools um those of you do, who do um, data science or information management these are mainly used for um, data visualization of course we can also use r we can use also excel um they are also good even python they are also very good for data um, visualization but of course let's jump in and see what we are ranking here so right now i'll take my first ranking question as we did earlier i just control c and i come here to cobalt toolbox and then i go here on this item to be ranked first and i just click i just highlight sorry and i click control v you see we just wrote it down and then i can just delete this extra and adjust it okay i love this space because each time you're working here it just looks like you're working on a word document okay and that is what i like it's very flexible control and then we come to the next and then we highlight and then control v okay and then i just love this space and then we just add as we add it gives us that is the second choice okay and then we are also going to add here and remember to always add using your plus or delete using this small red sign here so um we have put so now we are putting sql um control c these are other um tools that we teach so just stay patient with us we are going to be bringing up all these amazing tools for data analysis companies are looking for data analysis so we need to build more skills and more personnel okay um, we come here again and then we choose Python, um, amazing Python. And then we come here again and then we choose this item. We, we just highlight it. Make sure your, your mouse changes to this small sign here and then you can change, okay? And then we did and then we adjust it, okay? I just love that space. It, it, it functions like you're on a web document just doing your thing, you know? Control C and then we come here and then we come on this item amazingly we come oh sorry it has to change to this and then we highlight okay control V and then we just delete okay Kobo toolbox is an amazing tool to use um, it's easy to use I encourage everyone to stay focused and begin to use this tool and making a lot of analysis um, especially in Africa we need a lot of this tool to do accurate pro projects we do a lot of assumptions in Africa, so this tool has come to really help us have really projects that are realistic and also projects that are really, really result driven. Okay, here we are. So let's save this, our ranking question, and then go and review it and see how, how it looks, okay? So I'll just come here, review it, and then we see how it looks. Okay, great. Just be patient, please. Um, I think my internet is quite slow, but not that bad for this video great you see so amazing here we have first choice i can come here and i chose but there's something i want you to take note here i'm very important and i come here if i choose excel here it will not go okay yes because um i really want to make it i want to ensure that they are selecting just or kubo to want to ensure that one person is selecting just one tool we want to be fair okay and i come here and i choose python and I come here and I choose. So this is just testing, okay? Testing because we are reviewing. And then if I go back, um, there's a statement that says items cannot be selected more than once under here, okay? That's why we saw that reaction um, previously. But there's something I want to show you again real quick. I want to show you something real quick. 
oh we are doing ranking and rating questions um there's something i want to show you really quick here really really quick just stay put just stay with me please stay with me okay great now i want to come to this question um i want to give a particular skip logic to this question a kind of skip log logic that i want you to also learn how to do it it's important if i come to this question that says um this rating question and then i go in here okay and I go in here. Now I've gone into the data column name and then I choose keep logic. And then I go in here and I select add condition here. And then I choose. Now there are two questions that come before this question. Okay, this is how you apply your skip logic. Two questions that come before this question. So each time I want to apply a skip logic for a particular question, I must do it such that the questions that are relating to that question come before that question. If they come after that question, it's difficult to do skip logic, okay? So this name and age, they come before this question. Okay? So I'm going to give a condition here, name. I'm going to say that, now it says was answered, I know. I'm going to come here and say something here, very tactical. I'm going to say that, okay, this name, you see, there are different options here. That's something I want you to know. Was answer, was answer. We'll be talking about this in the other videos, but today I just want to go very fast. Now, it says names, okay? If this name is equals to Joe's or equals to Hillary, yeah, that's my name, okay? If it's in, this, it says, this question will only be displayed if the following conditions apply. If this name is equals to Hillary, okay? And I click now. Let's preview this form and see what how it looks like. So you just have to be creative around Kubo Toolbox. Just be creative. It, it's good to be creative. I'm just teaching you how to be creative. To try to test things. Try to try things, you know, and see the result. Okay? This is something I tested and then I saw the result. Now, Hillary. See what is happening. Hillary. Now, first of all, I want to show you something real quick. You see that our, rate, our rating question has not appeared. Now we have just the ranking question. Are you seeing it here? It has not appeared because we gave a condition that until this name is Hillary, that's when the question will appear. So if I come here and I write Hillary, you see, when I click out of this, you see, it appears. You see here, it appears. Okay? And then when I come here and write another different name, John, you see now, it doesn't appear. And I click out, it goes back. Now, this means that maybe this questionnaire wants to go out there and we want some particular names called Hillary to be answering the written question. And then you set such condition, okay? But in this case, this condition is not relevant to me in this case because um, you cannot block the whole questionnaire because of a particular name. So this was just to show you how to apply skip logic and to show you that it's very, you have to be very flexible and creative when you work with Kobo Toolbox. And also to tell you that... Um, Today, this was just an additional um, bonus for uh, the video. Please make sure um, you like, make sure you subscribe, and please do well to follow us. We'll be bringing you amazing videos on Kobo Toolbox, on R, on SQL, on Python, on different things on Excel, different amazing data analysis skills. Kobo Toolbox is another amazing tool for data analysts, for data analysts, okay? And I want to introduce you to this. This is very important to analyze data. It's so powerful. It's so amazing. It works well with Excel. It works well with Power BI. And that is how I've been using it. It also works amazingly with um, 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 Google Sheet, okay? Thank you very much and stay blessed. Let's look forward to build the skills that we need. Thank you so much.